Well, it's a big world in EVE Online, and you want to explore it in your Astero and make some ISK, finding Rex data and relic sites at the same time. This is the video for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Loru, digital advertiser, content creator for the better part of 10 years now. And this is my Astero build. It's slippery. It'll get you in, get you out, and get you the goodies. Let's dive into the fit, and then we'll show you some gameplay of how we're going to use this, okay? First thing is we've got the Sisters Core Probe Launcher and Sister Core Scanner Probe. Listen, this is a bit higher on the skill, okay? And on the money side, the whole fit's gonna run you about 276 million. You can do a dirt cheap Astero with like Tech One stuff. That's what I recommend, especially when you're starting this out. Exploration is very much a high risk, high, a medium reward. Medium risk, medium for sure. It's not as safe as other things. You're never safe in Eve, but this less so. So definitely go for the cheaper option if you are just starting out. This is something you can work towards that I've had great success with. So then we got the Covert Ops Cloak, standard stuff. Uh, cargo scanner, you don't need a cargo scanner. I find that when you start hacking, you are in and you're clicking the buttons. You're not necessarily looking at your at your D-scan and at your like, PVP tab. I want to know if the loot I'm getting is worth it. I hate opening up these looted, these lootable cans and it's like a single carbon that's like two isk. And now I'm like, no, I want the millions, not the two. Okay, so cargo scanner too. Micro warp drive, get yourself a nice one. Go very fast, 30. 400 sheesh goodness gracious scan range finding array this one is like the put whatever you would like to here you can see there's plenty of room on our cpu and power grid i like scanning stuff down asap making sure that there's no problem that's the te most tedious part of this is the actual scanning so i like to get it done quick then we've got a ligature integrated analyzer this is going to let you scan both data and relic sites if you can't use this or don't want to spend the disk and it is expensive you can put a data uh scanner here and a relic scanner here uh, it's worth noting the ligature analyzer can do both but it's technically weaker okay it doesn't have as many uh slots in the mini game for upgrades and you'll see the scanning mini game in just a moment but just understand you set you sacrifice having uh two a uh, one thing do two things but it does them weaker than just the relic analyzer would and just the data analyzer would if that makes sense the rest of the stuff is making your ship nice and slippery okay we get the inertia stabilizer to two nanofiber internal structures look and width also a small low friction nozzle joint you got a 1.7 align time you are getting the hell out okay you are quick you are going to get to speed it is just hilarious how quickly you just warp the hell out to help with that you got a warp core stab just a base one you can put a faction one on here if you would like but again it's just an astero it's not a stratios or some of the bigger boys you got to have some kind of warp core stab just in case all right and finally small emission scope sharpener too this is again to help with your scanning in the cargo we've got just an extra eight core probes and then finally in our drone bay we've got three hornet ec 300s anti-gank measure you can bring drones there are astero fits that are drone damage focused you can do this that's not the point of this build the point of this build is to go in get the loot and get the hell out but you can fit uh drones on this no problem and in fact you get 20 percent more damage sorry hit hit points on your drones basically meaning if you throw your drones out on somebody if you're trying to gank somebody if you're in an uh astero it's actually happened to me they can't kill your drones if you do it correctly so you point them kill them take them out that's not this video this is anti-gank measures throw these out stop them from locking onto you get the hell out so that's the fit let me show you how to do stuff in just a moment all right we've just warped into a new system and we do see that there is a cosmic signature on the grid so we're gonna go ahead and warp to a safe spot you can make a safe spot and then get this done it's important to note that while you're warping right before you're warping launch your probes hit your covert ops cloak so you're now off of the d scan and let's get to it this is the point why we have the range finder and why we have all the plus scanning stuff. This part of this stuff is tedious. It is not so fun, and it is something that's gonna take you some time unless you are skilled up for this. So this is kind of where uh, you just have to sit back and just enjoy the exploration, the lore of it, okay? You're gonna notice how I'm doing this. I go directly above the dot, and then I go to the side of it, and I try to get that box right on the dot, and then I press analyze. The shortcut for directional scanner is V, and the shortcut for this scan is B. So when I have these up, I just press V and B at the same exact time just to make sure I am populating my directional scanner, just keeping a sharp eye on who's in system. Thanks for buying my stuff. Thank you very much. So we do see there's a couple yellows in system. I've been marking all the known ganking people in 
in my area and checking out stuff. There is another Astero on grid. Looks like we are going to be fighting this Astero for what this is going to be. And in fact, I'm almost certain that this is going to be a taken data site and that it's not uh, going to have anything left considering there's also a Heron on grid. You want to look for um, other scanning ships. Herons are popular. Asteros are popular, obviously. Uh, this is going to be ships that you will see a lot when you're out scanning. Make sure, and we say this in all of our videos, you're never safe. You don't don't assume because you see a heron, it means you're safe. It could be a scout ship meant to mark your location or meant to mark the location of the data site you're on and then bring in the gank ship. It's happened to me. Look at this. Lovely, lovely. We found ourselves a relic site. We're going to zoom in on that and get it done. We're going to see if that Astero is close by warping to this planet. We're going to get our D scan a little bit closer. I do see a Astero and a heron, so it's entirely possible that both of them are on this relic site. Incredible. Okay, you can double click the site in your screen here to get as close as you can to it. Uh, let me see if I can get my stuff here. We are seeing an Astero and a Heron still on grid. We're going to find out. So before we go in, I'm going to warp to this at 100. But it's important to understand you got to look up what this site is. If you see covert something on a data site, it is scary. Be careful of it, okay? This is called a ghost site. You're going to get potted, potted, all right? Do not do these things, all right? We do see another Astero on grid. Very nice. He's over yonder. Let's go ahead and just hit one up and get to it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to uncloak here. We're going to set the orbit to that, and we're going we're gonna to set the orbit to 3K. We're going to turn on our micro warp drive. Now, when you go into wormhole space or low sec, etc., you're going to set your orbit to 3K, and you're going to orbit these data sites at 3K, assuming you're not close to other collidables, if you, which in this case we are, as you can see. Very, very close. We're just going to approach this because we're in high sec, but typically you would not approach. You would orbit because if somebody pops on grid, you don't have to worry about them. You can just click your cloak button and you're cloaked as long as you're not close to other collidables. Like I was saying, here's the mini game. You can see our health here and our strength here. That's like the damage we do. And you're just going to go in a direction. You're going to see we only have one of those there. That's the ligature. All right. Our ligature hits for 30. So we're able to two tap those. We're going to keep using the repairs as much as we can. We're very far from where our destination is. Goodness gracious. Where is the mainframe? You're looking for this. This is the one you're looking for. We're going to tap it a couple times and go from there. There's a bunch. And of course, there's nothing in here. I'm furious. That's how that we should have. We should have cargo scannered it. Perfect. Perfect showcase of what we need to do. So let's undo this one. And instead of warping at this one and starting to do the hack. Let's cargo scan it just to see what we got. We do have some stuff into there. Fan freaking tastic. Well, can you approach this bad boy? It's not a lot because again, we're in high sec, but at least it's something. The last one literally was empty. Sad panda. If you start hacking it, the other person cannot hack it. So it's important to just get on it as quickly as possible. Stop the other person from doing it. You're going to notice the numbers. The lower the number, the closer you are to a like special node with the core of it being the most special node. So that's why we're doing this. Now, when you're done with all the cans, this Asteros here, you're going to press into a point in space. You're going to press your marker warp drive and you're gone. That's it. We're already so far from that Astero. He was warping off anyway. That was a fun little spot there. Excellent. I do love the lore of this. You find like a rubble in space and you get to go scan it out and collect its loot. Not a lot from that one. We only got uh, about 300,000. But if you're new and you get a cheap Astero fit, that's quite a bit of isk for no combat. And that's kind of the point or minimal combat here. So just to kind of recap on how to do this, you're going to scan your stuff down. You're going to stay covert ops cloaked in, in a safe point until you find something. You're going to warp on grid. You're going to orbit the data or relic pieces at about 3K, assuming there's no collidables. That way, if someone comes on grid, you can just click your cloak button and you're gone. You're going to use your micro warp drive to quickly get onto the actual data point. Use your cargo scanner. Remember to it, you just saw it where I, I did a whole thing. I, I looted absolutely nothing. Uh, the final thing that I wasn't doing because I'm in high sec, but even in high sec, you should do this be on the scan while you're doing these data points. Okay. The last, last point that I have to tell you is make sure you look up stuff. I can't stress this enough. If you got, if you are in high sec, you can pop into a data site or a, or a relic site that has mobs that spawn after a certain amount of time and you will die. The ship is not meant to be battled with. It's meant to get the hell out of here. Okay. That's the video. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed, make sure you check out the other videos that are popping up here and press sub. We want you to come back. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.